Hello, we will be bringing you this dose of virtual vitamin Z habitat chat from the National Amphibian Conservation Center, featuring the Conservation Center's director, who will be highlighting the poison mimic dart frogs, Sonny and his companion Cher. The Detroit Zoo has been working in the rainforest for over 10 years on many types of amphibian studies. Animal experts from the Detroit Zoo go out into the rainforest to observe what different frogs and toad species live there and how many there are to tell us how healthy an ecosystem is. We know a lot about the ecosystem because it depends on the relationship of the rainforest and the Amazon River. Though the Amazon River is peaceful and appears tranquil, the waters can also be strong and mighty, being in the top three of the largest rivers of the world because of its volume. Animal experts such as Dr. Ruth will visit the areas where the poison dart frog is located in order to recreate the habitat here at the National Amphibian Conservation Center in order to make it appear as close to the native habitat as possible. So Sonny's called a mimic poison dart frog because in the wild, he would have much less poison than the other dart frogs around him. He does, or he would have poison, but it would be just a little bit of poison. So they look like other species of dart frogs that are really poisonous. So here at the Detroit Zoo, none of our poison dart frogs have poison. They would get that from their diet in the wild. So they're, they're very safe. Um, if we accidentally touch them, we would not get very sick. Let's take an observation break. The mimic frog is a very skilled climber and is very active. They are diurnal, meaning they are awake during the day. Do you notice anything in the habitat that can help them with their climbing skills? Here's a photo of their habitat in the wild. Do you notice any differences? Type your comments in the box below. Sonny is a very active frog, so if you come to see him at the Detroit Zoo, he'll usually be up on the glass, he's very curious, he'd be looking at you, he's usually high up in the leaves, hopping around. He likes to sing a lot, so he'll sing out to call to his girlfriend Cher. You'll notice Cher is a little bit bigger than Sunny. So if you see the two of them together, they're both bright orange and bright blue, and Cher's a little bit bigger than Sunny. So you might see them looking at each other on a leaf, and Sunny's little throat will be moving, and that means he's singing to her. And sometimes you'll hear him singing. It's a little dee 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 noise. It's very a very soft song. Tadpoles frequently will, will need food. And so when they're hungry, they eat unfertilized eggs. And when they need food, the dad will notice if they're hungry and he'll sing again. He'll call out to the mom. So when Sonny is watching the eggs and watching the tadpoles develop and notices that the tadpoles are looking a little hungry, the tadpoles come to the top of the water and they kind of open their mouths and gape and Sonny notices this, so he sings out to Cher and goes dee 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 and Cher comes along and she'll lay some unfertilized eggs that the babies will eat. So when you're looking at our habitat, you'll notice Sonny is one of the smallest frogs that we have here. The mimic dart frogs are very tiny and so they eat very tiny foods. They eat fruit flies and very tiny crickets and very tiny worms, but the fruit flies are Sonny's absolute favorite food. As I said, he's a very active frog, so you'll see him hopping around really fast and hopping around on the glass a lot. So he likes those fast little fruit flies. He likes to nip those up really fast. This is our last observation break. Now, what do you notice on the back of the frog that's here? Now, don't forget, to type your comments in the box below. They are very good parents, the mimic dart frogs, and Sonny is a particularly good dad. And a lot of times when you come here, you may see the eggs on the habitat. So look for little pools of water in leaves and look for Sonny moving a tadpole on his back. The tadpoles are very small and Sonny does have black markings on his back. So they're hard to see, but if you look really closely, you might see a black marking that looks kind of like a bump 
and that's usually a tadpole. So you can see Sunny moving the tadpoles from water spot to water spot on habitat here at the Detroit Zoo. Well, that's all we have for today's dose of vitamin Z. Be sure to join us for the next scheduled episode.